everyone welcome back we are talking about growing by god's word and today uh, i want to take some time to talk about the word of god as a seed and the parable of the sower we know that the seed which jesus was referring to was the word of god mark chapter 4 verse 14 it says the sower sows the word the sower sows the word so the word is an investment in our spiritual walk the word uh, is, is something non negotiable if we do not sow a seed we cannot expect a, a plant to grow and yield uh, the desired harvest and in the same way if we do not sow the word of god into our hearts into our lives we will not be able to see a harvest and uh, which is why we must take time to sow the seed of god's word when we look at the passage mark chapter 4 verses 1 through 20 where jesus was talking about the sower sowing the seed uh, we we learn uh, many insights from there about the word of god and about um, releasing the harvest from the word of god so just going to go over a couple of them we notice that god's word when it is sown it must take root and you know that refers to uh, the depth of god's word the word going into us which will happen through meditation spending time in god's word thinking about the scriptures which we have heard uh, it will take root in us it will bring understanding uh, of the word of god and and so no understanding of god's word is very important then we also see in that passage that the word of god so the seeds um uh, did not have favorable favorable environments um uh, in in some instances and so it is important for us to protect the word of god so whatever seed is sown we must protect it so that it is not taken away from us that it it is not um something that will 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 um not progress you know uh, instead it will grow and it will yield the results that god has intended so protect the seed um, uh, and um, don't be shaken by any form of um opposition or persecution we also notice in that uh, parable that there can be distractions that will not allow the word of god to grow we must not let the lust of the world or the cares of this world or even persecution to distract us because we see that uh, all of these things have the capacity to um uh, to stop the growth of god's word in our hearts and the other insight that we get from here is the quality of the ground is very important which has to do with a heart condition when we come to god with a heart of faith when we come to god with heart of repentance a heart of humility the word of god is able to produce and bear fruit um so i i trust that all these insights will strengthen you in your journey with god let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for your word thank you that it is a miracle seed oh god father we know that as we sow it we will reap of the benefits lord we will reap the harvest lord and we will glorify your name through it in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org